guys, my name is Avinash and in this video, I'm going to explain an S3 bucket feature called CORS, Cross Origin Resource Sharing. So basically, this CORS uh, help us to load content from uh, another domains. Okay, so for that, I'm going to create a couple of S3 buckets now. I'm going to create one CORS1 bucket and uh, I'm going to uh, make this bucket as a starting website. So I'm going to uncheck block all public access. I acknowledge, scroll down, create a bucket. And I'm going to use this bucket to host my website. And I'm going to upload some content. So initially what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, create, uh, I'm going to add an index.html here and also I'm going to add a local file that loads via index.html. So in this scenario, it doesn't require any CORS configuration. Why? Because both contents are in same S3 bucket and we are delivering uh, via same um, uh, domain. So let's do that now. Click on properties, scroll down to bottom, edit static website hosting, enable and I'm going to host a static website and uh, my default object is going to be index.html and um, I'm leaving everything to default and let me quickly upload that index.html here click on upload add files on my desktop I have a folder called CORS and I'm going to upload this index.html as well as I'm going to upload a local.html file scroll down click on upload all right both files uploaded now and um, obviously if you want to use a static website hosting feature you need to make this data public so one option you just select all the data and make sure you enable acls then um, uh, enable that acl that is one option and uh, make public data by using acl that's one option another one you can uh, simply use this bucket policy so I prefer to go with this bucket policy even later if I add a new content also that should be public automatically. So for that click on bucket policy, click on policy generator and uh, select type of policies S3 bucket policy. I'm going to allow everyone to get object from this specific bucket right. So let's select get object and give bucket ARN here you can grab that from the policy editor screen itself give slash star so you know slash star uh, inside the bucket whatever the content we have add statement generate policy now copy this policy add that under bucket policy make sure you don't have any spaces here then click on save changes and immediately you see this publicly accessible came so now navigate to properties scroll down and here you see bucket website endpoint so let me take a minute to explain my index.html file so this is my index.html file i'm giving a title aws s3 crs demo so i'm going to use a simple jquery to load content so here i'm giving uh, the script source and also you can observe here i'm using uh, the script tag here and it is going to load a file called local.html so that's what i did i have uploaded this index.html as well as this local.html so if you want to observe if you click on this index.html click on open this is what my index.html file is and if you observe i'm going to open local html file this is what local.html file so now this like you know we have opened both files individually but when i'm trying to access it via this s3 static website hosting option okay when i click on this it is going to load both files this is one file index.html this is load.html file so when we are trying to access both files loaded the reason both are delivering via same domain now let's take a small scenario that instead of loading this file from same domain let's assume you have another website 
for that i'm going to use another s3 bucket so there uh, i'm going to upload another file called remote.html and i'll uh, modify that index.html to point instead of this local.html file so then i will try to load this so let's observe that option now so let me create another bucket and let me do the same thing and my bucket one name is crs1 bucket let me create another bucket and i'm going to call this as a crs2 bucket i'm going to create it in mumbai region unchecking block all public access acknowledge create bucket all right so the bucket created let's go inside the bucket let's upload the content click on upload add files and i'm going to add this remote.html click on open then click on upload all right file uploading successfully right so now i want to uh, go to properties and uh, i'm going to enable static website hosting on this bucket as well okay go and edit i'm going to enable i'm going to static website hosting and i'm going to use this remote.html as a document object then save changes all right so again we need to edit the bucket policy edit the bucket policy uh, to save some time i'm going to use the uh, same bucket policy here for this bucket too as well only change i need to do is i need to change the bucket arn right save changes seems my internet is a bit slow now All right, seeing some issue with my internet, now I have switched to uh, hotspot, right. So I have applied this bucket policy on my second bucket. All right, so let's test this. Navigate to properties and let's try to access this bucket ARN and this is what it is uh, delivering. So now what I want to do is I want to modify this index.html file in my crs1 bucket and so far what it is doing it just loading the content from the same bucket and it is pointing to a file called load local.html okay so instead of this local.html i want to use this i want to use this entire arm uh, entire uh, s3 bucket end point of my like a uh, second bucket okay so then i want to deliver that from my first website let me get that url now here then let's save and i'm going to upload this index.html here click on upload add files i'm selecting index.html click on open then click on upload all right so the file uploaded successfully now when we go to properties when we scroll down let's close if you already have any files and open this endpoint you see it just opening only crs demo so as per the index.html so the second line should load from another domain so but that is not happening here so if you go and if you inspect this if you go and if you inspect in your browser and uh, if you see here there is an error access to xml http request at this like you know from origin so from this origin is automatically blocked so when it is trying to load the second line from another domain which is hosted in the second bucket is not able to load here okay so that's the reason we are not able to get the second line there is no problem with the code okay the problem is your second bucket 
the CVORS2 bucket is not configured to allow any CVORS sharing. Right. So if you create a CVORS code and if you add that simple script here, so then this is going to load. So for that, I'm going to use a very simple one. And uh, you see here, this is a code you can give. Uh, you can give not only get, you can give put, you can give delayed, you can give upload, all such type of HTTP methods, but I'm going with only get. And also here, instead of allowed origins, you can give star, like, you know, uh, anyone can access. Uh, data from uh, this S3 bucket, we actually need to upload or uh, add this to our second bucket. Okay, so now I want to allow only my first S3 bucket. So for that, I'm going to grab this bucket endpoint and I'm going to give that here. All right, let's copy this and I'm going to upload this to my second CORS bucket. Okay, let's scroll down, click on save changes. All right, so far this given an error, let's try to reload now. When I'm trying to reload, you see here, this is now loaded. I just like, you know, give a hard refresh or you just close the browser, you take an incognito window and just do this. You see here, you are able to. So the first error is gone. Just ignore the second error. Um, right, you see, this file is delivering from my first bucket index.html and but this second line is actually coming from my CORS second bucket, this remote.html. So that's happening because of uh, this CORS configuration. For example, you want to crash check this. So if you edit the CORS and if you like uh, give some typos or like you know wantedly you have uh, deleted something here you have given a typo and if you save this now what happened will this load or not let's test this okay you see that immediately the second line is gone so the second line is actually loading from another domain so this is what uh, CORS configuration and whoever looking for this I'm going to make this code available uh, um, in a file and I'm going to uh, make it available uh, over the video description. So just take your time and um, uh, get all these codes like uh, index.html and the CORS configuration codes from the video description. I hope, the, I hope you found this video uh, helpful to understand this feature. And in recent times, I'm getting a lot of requests to make videos in uh, Telugu language. So I even planning to make some videos, but um, like, you know, uh, it may take some time, but definitely uh, I'm going to make some videos uh, soon and I'll make it available through this YouTube channel. So if you want to get all updates, please take a minute and uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video, guys.